This is the Foxfield races. As you go walking around, you stare around, and you look at the mass chaos, you start to notice everyone looks like they're a model from a Vineyard Vines catalog. <laughs> I'm here to teach you guys how to dress for the Foxfield races, both male and female. I have accredited female sources to teach the females how to dress. Uh, and also, I want you to learn from my mistakes from the first time I went to the Foxfield races. This is me. <laughs> Three years ago, before the Foxfield races, as you notice, I'm not even at the racetrack yet because no one wanted to take a picture with me. I was wearing blue jeans, a t-shirt, I didn't even bring the right size cooler, they didn't let me bring my beers in. So, before we get started even more, I know that uh, Dr. Bodkin didn't even know what the Foxfield races were, and if everyone here doesn't know what it is, I'm going to let you know right now. So what are the Foxfield races? According to Benjamin Dick in 2015, who is the president of the Foxfield Races, the Foxfield Races were designed to attract thoroughbred owners and trainers and to provide the jockey and his mount with a beautiful ride over rolling green turf. None of you care about that whatsoever, <laughs> but I just wanted to give a little historical background. The races have been going on for a very long time in Crozet, Virginia. So why are we there? We are there to dress super nicely and to have a good time and let loose from the rest of the year. It's springtime, it's usually the week before finals, we're there to dress very preppy and look like we are models in a Vineyard Vines catalog. <laughs> so what should guys wear? This kid nailed it. I'm doing okay here, better than I did three years ago. This guy nailed it. Okay, so the first thing I want to start off with is the button-down shirt. A solid polo is not going to work. This is the time to be classy, fellas. Uh, also, big staple too, a lot of guys don't wear a sports jacket there. I know it can be a little bit hot outside there, but that's another thing that's going to make you look more mature than your average college kid. Third thing is definitely going to be the bow tie. I don't really look good in bow ties, but that is pretty much the staple tin of the outfit as well. Everyone loves the bow tie, girls love the bow ties, clip-ons are fine gentlemen. Uh, we'll have him give a demonstration on that next week. <laughs> Uh, the other thing, too, is uh, in this picture, I know you can't see his shoes, so I usually like wearing cowboy boots. A lot of other guys like wearing Sperry's. And then what's going to differentiate whether you wear cowboy boots or Sperry's is whether you're wearing khaki pants, like I am right now, or colorful, colorful shorts. I, uh, I don't have too many pastel shorts or anything like that, so if you're wearing pastel shorts, you know, lime green, salmon, lime purple, uh, you're going to want to wear this Mary Bow shoes. And when in doubt, uh, Andy Bernard in his 2015 UVA commencement speech said that, that's actually not Andy Bernard, that's Ed Helms who plays Andy Bernard, but Ed Helms stated in his 2015 UVA commencement speech that the student attire at the Foxfield races were the inspiration for Andy Bernard's wardrobe on The Office. So, if you're confused how to dress guys, dress like Andy Bernard from The Office. He's got three of the staples right there, so... Alright, next. What should girls wear? That's my lovely little sister there on the right hand side. And so I found myself a source, a primary source directly. And according to our telephone interview on Sunday, uh, this past Sunday in September 2015, she suggested that the dress is what really makes it happen for everyone. She suggests something floral or with a cool design from either Lily Pulitzer or I think it's Free People. I kept calling it Free Republic while I was practicing this. <laughs> free People. Uh, she also says that she loves wearing her sun hat, or as we call the floppy hat. And uh, I also agree. I feel like when else are you going to be able to wear a hat like this and not look like an early 1900s mistress? So. <laughs> uh, also. A couple more fashion tips. Uh, you can see right there, oh, it's on her right hand. That's where she usually goes. Uh, Alex and Ani bracelets. We're going to talk jewelry here for a second. I see some of y'all are wearing them right now. Wear every single one you have, even if you have 40, because it's the best way <laughs> to start a conversation with people with your Alex and Ani bracelets. So, you know, try to say uh, UVA swim team, whatever. Um, next big thing for me was the shoes. I had no idea what the shoes were that girls wear here. So, the Jack Rogers footwear, I, don't, I didn't want to call them sandals because I don't know what they are, or you can go traditional and wear the cowgirl boots with the sundress to kind of have that country southern racing appeal thing for the horse races. Uh, and if it rains, uh, the bean boots are always going to be kind of unisex, I wore bean boots last year when it was pouring down rain, those are good for male or female. 
And then females are really into this big thing called the hunter boots right now. And so those can also be used if it rains down at the Pottsfield races. And so, in conclusion, <laughs> remember, don't be this scary. Be this scary. Be well prepared. Plan your outfit the night or two before like I did. I'm wearing a nice blazer, button down shirt. I got the girl in my right arm. <laughs> uh, girls, remember, your biggest thing is going to be the sundress. Uh, fellas, just remember, keep it simple, but keep it tacky at the same time. And lastly, have a good time. It's the end of the semester, the spring semester. Some of us will be graduating this time of year. Have a good time. Don't get arrested. And get ready for finals week the proper way. Thank you. Thank you.